Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are diving into one of the most fundamental machine learning algorithms, linear regression. I'll explain how it works and show you how to implement it step by step in Python using scikit-learn. So let's get started. Before we jump into coding, let us first understand what linear regression is and why it is so important in machine learning and data science. Linear regression is a supervised learning algorithm used for predicting continuous values based on input features. It finds the best fitting straight line that represents the relationship between one or more independent variables x and a dependent variable y. Think of it like this. Imagine you own a real estate business and you want to predict house prices based on their square footage. So if you plot square footage on the x-axis and house prices on the y-axis, a linear regression model will find the best straight line relationship between the two. In this graph, the blue dots represent actual data points while the red line is the predicted relationship between square footage and house prices. Linear regression is based on the equation of a straight line y is equal to mx plus b, where y is the predicted value or the output, x is the input feature or the independent variable, m is the slope uh, which means that how much y changes when x increases and b is the intercept that is the line that crosses the y-axis. Linear regression works by minimizing the difference between the actual data points and the predicted line. This difference is measured using a technique called least square error which adjusts the slope m and the intercept b to find the best fit. For example, if x is equal to 1000 square feet, uh, the model might predict y is equal to $200,000 as the price. There are mainly two types of linear regression. The simple linear regression when there is only one independent variable. For example, predicting price based on the square footage. And multiple linear regression when there are two or more independent variables. Example, predicting price based on square footage, number of bedrooms and location. Now that you understand what linear regression is, let us move on to implementing it in Python. We need to start with importing libraries and load the data sets. So we can import numpy as np, import pandas as pd, import matplotlib.py plot as PLT. So from sklearn.model selection, we need to import the train test split. And from sklearn.linear model, we need to import linear regression sorry it was sk learn over here then uh, we are creating a sample data set for the prediction purpose so let me create a data set so since we are predicting the price based on the square footage let me name it as square feet so let the prices be like 600 650 700 850 1800 and let the prices be one fifty thousand one sixty thousand one seventy thousand two thousand I mean 200,000, 201,000 and 320,000 
then I'm creating a data frame using df is equal to pd dot data frame and I'm converting the data into data frame and let me print the first few rows of this data frame yeah so we can see that these are this is the square feet and this is the corresponding price before building the model let us plot the data to understand the relationship so I am using uh, this uh, scatter plot to plot the relationship between the square uh, the square feet and the price and let me use the color blue then in the X axis I'm labeling it as square feet and the y-axis I am labeling it as price one second yeah so I am labeling it as house price in dollars and for the title I am naming it as house price versus square footage and then let me plot yeah so this is the graph so you can see that this graph is following almost a linear trend then let us train uh, the linear regression model so for that we need to split the data set into the training and testing sets so in x I am storing square feet and this is our independent variable and in y I am storing price which is the dependent variable need to split the data set into train test train and test uh, data so for that we need to like um so x train and x train and x test y train y test and I'm using train test split for this I'm using x and y that, that is created in the above cell and let me keep the test size as 0.2 which means that 20% data will be used for testing and the remaining 80% data will be used for training and random state is 42 then we need to train the model using scikit-learn so in model I am using linear regression then I am fitting the model with my x train and the y train Now let me print the slope m and the intercept b uh, as we know that we were working on the equation of uh, y is equal to m, mx plus c. So for that let me print the model coefficient. Let 
me print the intercept as well model dot intercept Okay, so the model coefficient that is m or the slope is 139.60 and the model intercept will be 75587.70. So the equation was y is equal to mx plus b. So in y we are uh, we need to predict y that is the price and for m we will put this value. Then for x we will take the value like the values over here 600 and in b we will put this value. So, uh, using the equation, we will find the value of y. So, now let us predict some house price for some new square footage values. So, let me predict the house price for 1000 square feet. So, let me create a variable as predicted price. I'm using the function model dot predict. So my x is thousand. Now let me print what will be the predicted price. Four thousand square feet. So I want the answer or the price to be print, uh, printed with a dollar sign. So for that I am using a dollar sign over here and the predicted price. So the predicted price is dollar two one five one eight nine point eight seven this point two means that up to two decimal places so this is the predicted price now let us plot the regression line and we uh, let us visualize the regression model so again i am using matplotlib I'm using x y and i am again using the color blue And let me write actual data, then I'm plotting x and the predicted value. And for this, let me use the color red and the label as. the regression line and the x label I am using as square feet and the y label let it be house price in dollar and we need to also show the legend and let me show the plot so the blue dot show uh, the actual data whereas the red line shows the regression line that is the predict what the model predicts so we can see that the actual data and the model prediction is like very close and it is showing a linear behavior now let us evaluate the model performance let's evaluate the model performance which means that we are seeing like how well our modern uh, model performs so for that we are like importing matrix uh, from sklearn dot matrix we are importing mean absolute error mean squared error and r2 score 
so let me make another variable as y pred that i am storing the predicted value of from the test data and in the mean absolute error we are storing the absolute error between the y test and the y predicted in mean square error we are again storing the mean squared error between y test and y predicted and in r2 variable we are storing the r2 score between the y test and y predicted then let us print the mean absolute error up to two decimal places let us also print mean squared error msc again up to two decimal places and the r square score again up to two decimal places so we can see the mean absolute error is 6609.4 the mean squared error is 4376277.5 and the r square score is 0 0.98 so that's it we have just built a linear regression model from scratch in python now we can use this for different real world data sets and we can download data sets from Kaggle, which i have already shown how to do that in my previous videos